Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And for this month's practical making, seeing that it's the season of graduations, weddings, um, I thought it would be the perfect time to do kind of, I call it a mini photo book card. It's really great for using leftover craft supplies because all you need is some cardstock, some scrapbook paper, some ribbon or string, um, little kids can make them, you can make them fancy, or it just doesn't take a whole lot of know-how. They're kind of quick to put together, um, but they're perfect for kind of a personalized card slash gift uh, for someone who means something to you. So let's take a look at what you got in your bags and how to put it all together. Okay, so you should have a set of directions, Q-tips, glue, you should have three cardstock sheets, two glitter sheets, two um, scrap paper sheets, and two pieces of ribbon. I also have a pair of scissors because we're going to be needing those too. The first thing we're going to do is take our scrapbook paper one at a time and we're going to fold the bottom edge up to the top edge. So out of our square we are going to make a rectangle. And you just want to make sure that those corners are very even up at the top and that your crease is nice and sharp. Go ahead and open it back up, turn it 90 degrees, and then fold the new bottom edge up to the new top edge. It's going to kind of make a four square sheet out of your paper. Open that one up, and then with it like a diamond, you're now going to take the bottom corner and fold it up to the top corner. So we're going to put a nice diagonal fold in that sheet as well. We're going to take left and right corners into the middle which should force the front and the back squares closed as well. Now we're going to show that again slower um, to try to give you a better look. Those diagonal folds are going to come towards the middle. So they're going to fold up into the middle. And when you pull those into the middle, it's going to want to pull the whole thing shut. And when you pull it shut, you're going to have a flat square or diamond on the front, flat square or diamond on the back, and that's what we want. We'll show you one more time. It kind of all comes together once you pinch on that diagonal fold line. And we're going to want to do that to all three of our sheets of paper. And then we're going to bring out the glue. We're going to open up all of our cardstock sheets. Um, and we want to pay attention to those flat squares that are at the top and at the bottom of each of those because that's where we're going to overlap. So your first sheet, we're going to take the bottom square and we're going to overlap the top square on the middle sheet to go with it and we're going to repeat the same thing on the bottom. So you're going to have kind of this accordion line going down. You always want to make sure that those diagonal folds are to the left and to the right when you're gluing. Do not glue on those diagonal folds. Make sure the glue goes all the way to the edge of your square and you want enough that you know everything's going to stick but not so much that you get weird wavy lines. You can always lay a book on these to flatten them out. And you want to make sure that that outside edge and that that fold line on the square are lined up because once we glue them all into place we're going to fold it all together. So that's one and I'm going to do the same thing to this bottom square now. All the way to the edges and then I'll take the top flat square from my last sheet of cardstock and just glue that right on top. Lining up the corners and lining up the outside edge and the folded edge. And then uh, we're going to let that dry for a little bit. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the scrapbook paper and the glitter. So your glitter, I have cut into hearts for one set. And the other set I gave to you square. You don't have to do a heart. You can do an initial. You do a thunderbolt. You could do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how I kind of do hearts. I draw along the corner. I mark where the middle of that heart will go and then I kind of only have to draw these two little bumps which is going to give me my heart shape. 
Um, but like I said, this could be an initial, this could be a favorite shape of whoever you're giving it to. Um, it could just be another square. It's totally up to you. Um, I like the glitter though because it, it gives it some of that special occasion-ness for a fun card. And then I'm using the, um, the map scrapbook paper and uh, what I cut out of the glitter squares to show you. Um, you can use your black and white scrapbook paper, you can use your gold hearts. I just wanted to give you some options. And we're gonna bring um, back over our glue. Get this all cemented into place and give it some time to dry. There we go. And then while that is drying, um, I'm gonna come back over here with this and we are gonna show you how to fold the whole thing up. Basically, we're gonna use the same fold that we did at the beginning. We're gonna fold the top square and the bottom square. And then when we fold up this middle square, it's gonna take everything else with it. So it might take a little bit of finagling and a little bit of pressing and a little bit of tucking to make sure that all your lines are gonna go together, fold up the way you want them to. After all, we're dealing with a lot more paper to fold up three of them together than just one sheet of cardstock. So you can see kind of how that's all gonna close. And then this will go on the top but before we glue that part on, that open bit, we're going to put some ribbon on so that it can tie shut. Another thing to kind of give it that special occasion. Take it from just being a card into kind of a book. So if you kind of draw little guider lines on there, and then you'll be able to glue your ribbon into place. It doesn't take a whole lot of glue, just enough so that when I place my ribbon on, the glue will soak into it. So I'm going to press it down a little bit. There we go. Then I can put on my scrapbook paper and my glitter paper or whatever you decided to put on the front and the back of it. Again, just make sure you go all the way to the edges with your glue. There we go. And I'm gonna press that on there pretty tight to try and make sure that there's no wrinkles, no glue squelching out, none of that. And do the same thing to the back. Now, why do I call this a photo album? I call it a photo album because I'm gonna put four pictures. Um, obviously, I can't give you pictures of your loved ones, um, but the four flat squares on the inside are where pictures can go. And you can use actual pictures or you can use photocopies of pictures. Um, they just need to be cut in a three by three square. And along those diagonals, you can put other scrapbook paper. Um, just know that if you do fold it and put it into place there, it's gonna add a little bit more bulk to your book when you fold it all up. So one of the things I like to do is just, you know, kind of write or draw something on those squares too because it doesn't add a lot more bulk. And this one um, I'm going to make for my daughter who is a graduate this year of high school. So I'm going to kind of do, you know, 2021, congratulations, um, probably draw some hearts in there, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to mark in pencil where I want everything to go, kind of plan it all out. And then you can come back in with whatever fancy pen you want to use. For our purposes today, I'm just going to use a permanent marker and do some black and white. Um, make it kind of graphic. And then when you've got that all in place, uh, we can go ahead and just do the, the back side here. You're going to put on your other ribbon, put on your other scrapbook paper. And 
then you can tie up those ends in a nice bow and you will be all set and ready to go. And there you are, a little DIY photo book card. Thank you for following along. I hope you see what I mean, that it's kind of a catch-all. It can be for any occasion. It can be made out of almost any supplies. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot to put it together. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but you can really personalize it to make it special. One more thing before I go, I just wanted to take this opportunity to let everybody know that starting on June 1st, all of our summer reading programs are gonna be in full swing. So if you have kids, if you have teens, are a teen, or if you are a grown up, uh, we have a summer reading program for you. So make sure to stop at any of our desks or check out our website and get all of the information that you need to be able to read through the summer, win very cool prizes, and of course, come visit us at the library. Thanks guys, bye.